echocardiographic profile in pulmonary hypertension. Echocardiogram in parasternal long axis view shows a dilated right ventricle with a measurement of 4.2 cm in this view. Right ventricle is hypertrophied and dilated due to severe pulmonary hypertension causing pressure overload to the right ventricle. Normally, only a much smaller portion of the right ventricle is visible in this view. A better view to assess the right ventricle would be the apical four chamber view. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. M mode echocardiogram of pulmonary valve showing features of pulmonary hypertension. A flat EF slope and a shallow A wave. The A wave in pulmonary valve M mode echocardiogram becomes shallow in pulmonary hypertension and prominent in pulmonary stenosis. M mode echocardiogram to assess pulmonary valve was routine in the era when Doppler echocardiography was not available. But now this modality is seldom used as the right ventricular systolic pressures can be measured much more accurately from the tricuspid regurgitation jet by Doppler echocardiography using the Bernoulli equation. A modified apical four chamber view in pulmonary hypertension showing the dilated right ventricle and right atrium. The interatrial septum is seen to be convex bulging towards the left atrium due to the elevated right atrial pressures. An echo dropout is seen in the region of the fossa valleys due to the thinness of the stretched septum in that region. Color flow mapping in modified apical four chamber view shows trivial tricuspid regurgitation as a tiny mosaic colored bluish jet from right ventricle to the right atrium across the closed tricuspid wall. Doppler cursor can be aligned to the jet only with great difficulty and a good envelope may not be obtained. Hence, the estimation of right ventricular systolic pressure from the TR jet will be difficult in this case. Multiple tilted views may be imaged to get better TR signals. Subcoastal view with color flow mapping shows that there is no flow across the inratal septum, although there is a suspicion of an echo dropout. But there may not be any significant flow across the inratal septum even with an atrial septal defect if the right atrial pressures are elevated and equal to that of left atrium and the compliance of right ventricle is reduced due to hypertrophy. In such situations, a transesophageal echo may be able to confirm the presence of an atrial septal defect. In some cases, cardiac catheterization and angiography may be required in addition. Subcoastal view imaging the inferior vena cava, liver and hepatic veins. The inferior vena cava was dilated and showed little collapse with inspiration that is known as IVC plethora, indicating high venous pressure. Normally, the respiratory variation in IVC size is more than 50%. That is, there will be inspiratory collapse. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.